We are in the kitchen today with Salvatore Robolata, owner and chef at Pasti Pani by Salvatore. And he's making a couple of fettuccine dishes for us today. Salvatore, welcome back, man. Morning. Morning, sir. Good to Thank see you. For you. Pleasure so much. Okay, so uh, here we are, uh, mid-November, heading into the holiday season here in the States. Over in Italy, uh, they have different types of comfort yes. food. Is this something we that's do. traditional? That's very traditional for this time of the year. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I'm going to bring two very popular uh, Dishes, one from the south, and one is from the north Italy, and both of them will be made with the fresh pasta made in the house. Right. As you can see, I, I was sauteing shrimp, mushroom, and some chicken. I did add some rosemary and a lot of cook for one. Then I add some butter and wine with lemon. So now, this, uh, this is the the fettuccine Maria Monte. Maria Monte, yes, sir. Yes. That's Maria Monte from the sea. Yes, so part of the world, no, mount and the and sea. Uh huh. We like. Cook this for a few minutes. Let's talk about um, the pasta. You say made in house daily. Yes, sir. How, yes. I, I mean, how, what kind of process is that? How long is it? And uh, what do you get out of it? I mean, I, I, that's when you get the fresh taste. And I know that's really important to you, Salvador. No, I, it's important because a lot of people lost the idea to have a, a real thing. We try to keep the tradition of going at the restaurant. You know what I'm trying to say? And to tell you the truth, I mean, sometimes get too much on me because I, I'll be there like 5 30 in the morning, try to work my way up up to 10, 11 o'clock at night. But I enjoy it. It's something that you do because it's a passion. You know, it's not because somebody put me there. I love to do this job. And I'm not saying that I'm good now. Right. <laughs> you know, and, <laughs> you know, you, your, your passion for, for fine food is evident. Uh, and what does it mean to you when you see people smiling at your restaurant and going, you know what, that was awesome. I made something good. I yeah. made somebody happy. Make you somebody know, happy. Work for them, spend the money to go out. Yeah. You and know? that's why you, that's why you put the extra effort into now it. Now we got the little pasta ready to go. You were it wasn't in there very long. Yeah, because it's fresh, you don't have to cook. There you go. Too it's long. fresh. It doesn't have to cook. I'll do like that. As we say. Mm -hmm. Little touch of salt and pepper together. White pepper because you don't want to see the black pepper in the plate when you do it. Okay. And then I'm going to plate for you guys. Wow, you're working extra fast today. Oh yeah, alone, alone from last time I was here. Well, you know, there is. You can work too quick, you know. And then we'll just sit here and chat about uh, it's good. weekend we can and eat. movie and, we and can eat. eat. Well, you know, the, I told, I promised the audience that they might get a taste, and I, oh, you know, I don't want to no, eat no, in front of go. them, you know. No, uh, so listen, let's talk more about the restaurant. I mean, yes, right now uh, we're heading into the holidays. Yes, I know sir. you, you know, banquets and and oh. you're hosting parties, etc. You can run out the place if you need to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Actually, because the holidays come, we come up with a few. Uh, with a few uh, deals, if you want to collect it. Mm -hmm. And we are running a $2 wine happy hours. A lot of people think $2 wine is cheap, but you know, really, because I came across uh, some of my uh, delivery guys that they have a discontinued wine because, like, you know, maybe 2010 years, not do it. And then you got to buy by the, by the bulk, you know what I'm right. saying? And next thing you know, I'm having a lot of people enjoying that. Yeah. Then we were running a we running another special that is Tuesday to Thursday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yes. a dinner special, right? Yes, it's a thirty-five dollar meal, three course, including the dessert, and that is killing. Oh I mean, wow, that's I really mean, good. Yes, sir. And, you, and there are so many choices on that particular menu. Sure. That you know, if you don't want a pasta, there's the fish, there's a risotto, there's right. a salad, there's a soup. Right. I mean, it's a complete meal for affordable price, yeah. especially for some of those. This time of the year, so Tuesday, people, right? Wednesday, and Thursday for that. And yes, don't forget sir. about the, the, the happy hour from 5 to 7, 5 right? 5 to 7, 30 every 5 day. 5 to 7.30 every day. Um, okay, so um, this that was made so quickly. And, and you know, I mean, it, but it would take so much longer just to make yeah, the pasta. Yeah, it takes long, yes, sir. All yes, your sir. noodles, all your pastas, Everything all made in fresh. The house. Yes, sir. Even last week when I brought the, the gnocchi, that was made in gnocchi. the house. Okay, yep. Yep. You know, yeah, you sat there and rolled it out right here in front yeah, of us. Yeah, you have to. I mean, but like I said, it's something I enjoy to do. I, I enjoy. Carrying my tradition, family tradition, because some of those recipes are more than 100 years old. Oh, yeah. really? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some of the recipes I had for my grandfather. Like when I did said. you move to the States? I came in 98. 1998? Yes, sir. I came and in 98. And how often do you get back to Italy? Uh, I used to go more often before because, you know, my job allowed to do that. But since yeah. I got the restaurant, I'm kind of focusing on the restaurant. You know sure, sure. But I will go there pretty soon. I guess take a couple of weeks off. Yeah. And go over there see the. Yeah, and I, you know, it just it must be completely different. What I've never been to Italy. I want, it's definitely on the bucket list of places to visit. I can only imagine that the the passion for food, right. fine Fantastic. wine, uh, and everything else is is so tremendous there in Italy. Yes, sir. And you brought it here to the states. So listen, in the next segment, we're gonna do another fettuccine dish. Yes, sir. Uh, I went and and we're gonna do it with some. Uh, some giant mushrooms, and we've got some ham over here as well. Yes, Salvatore, thank you for thank being you here. Thank you, Alain. Thank you, Alain, sir. 
We're back in the kitchen today with Salvatore Robolazza, owner and chef at Pasti Pani by Salvatore. He's wrapping up a couple of his fettuccine dishes today. In the first segment, we did the fettuccine Maria Monte, and this is the pepe nero? Yes, sir, black pepper. Black pepper. Black, black pepper. That is a very, once again, traditional dish. As mm -hmm. you can see, I will saute some pancetta. Pancetta is a uh, mm -hmm. Italian version of bacon for you guys. Sure. And this particular dish will be laid on a plate of a roast spinach. Oh, okay. Right? Allow to cook for a while. Just make sure everything, you know, gets crispy or so. Is there, is there anything added? Uh, is there any olive oil or anything? Because there, I know there, the pancetta there is, has there a... There is. There is a, just a touch because the pancetta by itself is kind of, you know... Sure. All of, I would not use any salt for this particular dish. Oh, okay, good. Not and the point of call of pepper here is because we will add a nice amount of pepper that will give us some color at the time we roll with the pasta. Okay. At this point, like that. This is a pretty see. simple dish, isn't it? But all the, dish, uh, all the Italian dishes are very simple dishes. You know, it's not too complicated, but it's made with the heart. Makes sense what yeah, I'm Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, it is simple. However, you, 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 there's delicious. a difference between making it good and making it really good. And we, in this first, in the, you know, we talked about this being comfort food. Yes, sir. Well, I needed a little comfort, so I tried some. Oh, really? Yeah, you I saw me. I know. <laughs> mm, it was so good. The Mario Monte was so good. And those noodles really, the at fettuccine the, really sort of set see, it off. At this point, where you see that it's a live again oil, we will add some marsala, pure marsala, okay? Oh, okay. We'll give that little flavor to it. That's now, what when makes this the big comes, difference. This is when it comes. Now, this is a lot of pepper. Don't trust me, we'll be disappeared. That's why it's, it's known for pepper nero. And you let it go for a little bit longer, you know? As if you want to create real creamy, you mm -hmm. can always add a touch of butter. Okay. Let's go like that. And to go back as the simple dish, it's like my grandfather used to say, used to be a chef. He said, don't ever make it too complicated. Don't try to do nothing that is above you. Do make it easier. That is Italian cooking. It's easier. Do something that you're comfortable with. So your mother and father were chefs as well? Yeah, in a way, in a way, yes. In a I mean, way. Because they used to, I mean, my mom used to live with a dairy. Right. And back in the day, they used to have restaurants in Naples. I'm talking about many years ago. Yeah. I remember Grandpa Gennaro, he passed away when I was very young. But I guess it's in me. You know, did did, did in they the teach film. you, uh, did they sort of get you started on this path? I'll tell you a secret. When I took over the restaurant, I called mom. I said, Mom, you know, I got a restaurant now. I said, oh, go, congratulations, you know, whatever. The next thing I said, can, can I have the, uh, the recipe of uh, Grandpa? And she was like, really? Like, well, so your mom wouldn't share the she recipe? Did, she did not share. Hey, I guarantee you, whatever she gave to me, she did not give me all the ingredients. She said, there's anybody around you? I said, no, mom, just me over here. I'm collecting you, you know. <laughs> and she was like, oh, okay, okay, you know. I make sure don't give to nobody. When you cook at the restaurant, be by yourself. Now, from that day well, on, know, I'm well, by myself. Hey, that's tradition. You were supposed to send it down from generation to generation. It can't stop because your mom doesn't want to give it out. You know, it's a sentimental value. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, what is her favorite recipe? What is what is their their favorites that you, you know, remember she, that they 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 always? She were... used to make a lot of dessert. She used to make a lot of dessert. This one last okay. week, I came up with a dessert like that. And that particular a thousand dessert, layer. Yeah. So that was something that my mom used to make for each of his kids when it was their birthday. You know? Oh, I mean, perfect. I, mean, we, I come from a big family. I okay. got five brothers. You know, and. Uh, Which one are you in, in the line? I'm the you? number four. The fourth You're the number four. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I got. Three older than me, and two younger than me. Now you can see it's reducing. You put the marsala in reducing with mm -hmm. the help of the barrel. Sure. It's creating a little kit. Now you got a water boiling. This amount. Okay. A little bit more. Yep. And let it cook. Like I said, the and pasta. And not long either. No, it's not longer. You know, do a little thing. A few times it reduces a little bit more. Add a little bit more. Marsala. A little more sala. I okay. mean, just, just for the time that's being. That's an extra taste, a little bit of extra taste. That's give, because like I said, you will wait for the, and you can see the bacon or the pancetta is uh, crispy now. Oh, okay. You know, yeah. you see, because of this was I said. Just a little before. bit of crunch on that. Give the crunch to it, that's what made this plate particularly like that. I believe this is from the region of uh, Toscany and uh, Piemonte, they used to do this kind of meal. Oh, okay. They're one little bit more southern dish. But, you know, but anyway. Let me give some information. You go ahead and plate it up yes, when sir. it is ready. Uh, Pasta and Pani by Salvatore, located at 1340 North Great Neck Road in Virginia Beach. That phone number is 422-3232. Of course, on Facebook and Instagram at Pasta and e Pani by Salvatore. Don't forget about those uh, dinner specials. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, $2 wine. Not just that, but also happy hour from, uh, let's say, what, 5 to 7 Thursday? Mm -hmm. 5 to 7.30 every day. This dish looks amazing, uh, a simple yet elegant and tasty uh, Salvatore.
That looks amazing. Every time you've come on our show, you've crushed it. I appreciate it. So. Here's a real quick look at it, and then we're going to send it over to the buzz. If you put the juice on top, and the heat of the, uh, the food that we just made will cook slightly the, the fresh spinach. Awesome stuff. That's Thank you, it. Salvatore. Alley. Thank you.